Hello and welcome to the Philips Product Knowledge Tour. In this series of videos, we will explore the devices Philips Medical Systems produces in each modality, discovering the technology behind each machine, as well as discussing its use and operation. So, what is a modality? In the healthcare world, a modality is defined as a method of application or the employment of any diagnostic or therapeutic agent. At Philips, we produce equipment covering eight different modalities, each with a specific purpose in mind. While each video goes into much more detail, let's take a quick look at what Philips has to offer. The first three modalities, DXR, IXR, and CT, are all based on X-rays. You're probably familiar with DXR, or Diagnostic X-ray, but likely refer to it as just plain X-ray. This is the machine looking for broken or fractured bones. It's inexpensive, quick, readily available, and Philips has over 50,000 DXR devices in use around the world to date. IXR, or interventional X-ray, is a little different. It still uses X-rays, but instead of looking for broken bones, it's looking for an injected contrast fluid, which makes it ideal for tracking blood flow, such as when trying to diagnose blocked arteries in stroke patients. Originally, these fluids were thick and syrupy and were quite harmful to the patient. But through years of research, Philips has become the industry leader in this field, developing more sensitive scanners, which require thinner, safer contrasting fluids. CT, or computed tomography, gives our traditional X-ray a twist. By rotating the entire X-ray device, a CT scanner can produce highly detailed 3D anatomical images of the various structures in the body. In CT, the competitive edge lies with the speed of the scan, and once again Philips is leading the way. Whereas a decade ago, a 15-second scan was considered fast, today's devices, like our top-of-the-line ICT scanner, can scan the entire heart in less than a second. With trauma patients suffering from life-threatening injuries, this increase in speed is critical. The fourth modality is MRI, or Magnetic Resonance Imaging. It uses powerful magnets to align the water molecules in our body. We then apply a beam of RF energy, similar to a radio station, to coerce them out of alignment. By listening to how they realign, we can create the image. Unlike CT, MR is designed to look at our soft tissues like tendons and ligaments. It also doesn't use any hazardous radiation, so is completely safe for extended use, which is a good thing when you consider the average MRI scan takes upwards of 30 minutes. So far, everything has covered the physical or anatomical side of healthcare. There are times, though, when we need to see how the human body functions, and for that, we have our next two modalities nuclear medicine, and ultrasound. Nuclear medicine works much like an X-ray in reverse. Instead of beaming radiation from the outside into the patient and seeing what's absorbed, we inject the radiation into the blood and see what escapes. By using various chemicals to guide the radiation to the desired location, we can look at the levels of absorption and from there assess functionality. Unfortunately, by itself, nuclear medicine doesn't give the clearest of images, so today's devices are combined with CT or MRI, providing doctors with higher quality images and the ability to detect and locate even the smallest of tumors. Ultrasound, on the other hand, needs no such radiation. It uses high-frequency sound waves and highly sensitive receivers or transducers to create its images. You're probably most familiar with ultrasound in the prenatal ward, although today's devices can be used to detect heart defects, blocked arteries, and even discover abdominal problems. The next modality doesn't have the big machines or a fancy-sounding name, but has revolutionized the healthcare industry. PCCI, or Patient Care and Clinical Informatics, deals with the basics, the pulse, oxygen saturations, and blood pressure. Where this used to require nurses traveling from bed to bed, taking constant readings and making charts, this is now all handled automatically. By networking these devices together, hospitals can now have dedicated monitoring areas where every patient's vitals can be observed in real time, discovering problems before they have a chance to go bad, and providing a quicker response time when they do. 
Lastly, there's healthcare informatics, which covers the processing and storage of data. Whereas hospitals used to have rooms full of paper records and teams of data entry specialists, HI has streamlined the entire process, making a trip to the hospital safer and more pleasant for the patient, as well as reducing overhead and mistakes by the hospital. So there you have it, eight unique modalities, each with its own purpose and all contributing to Philip's position as a leader in the healthcare industry. Enjoy the show.